Thomas's train. Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed. <laughs> you are too impatient, Thomas. You'd be sure to leave something behind. <laughs> this annoyed Thomas. Rubbish! You just wait. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard on him, but he didn't get better. Now, Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. And Thomas thought to himself, Now, if Henry is ill, perhaps I shall pull his train. And Thomas ran off and found the coaches. <coughs> Come along, come along. The coaches were very grumpy. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run round in front at once. But his driver wouldn't let him. Now, don't be impatient, Thomas. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The guard and the station master walked up and down, the porters banged the doors, and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited every minute. The fat director came out of his office to see what was the matter, and the guard and the station master told him about Henry. Well, Henry's not very well today. We'll um, find another engine. Well, there's only Thomas. Well, you'll have to do it then, Thomas. Uh, be quick now. So Thomas ran round to the front and back down onto the coaches, ready to start. He was so excited his driver had to say to him, Now don't be impatient, Thomas. Wait till everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. What happened then, no one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait till they were ready. Or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started. People shouted and waved at him, but he didn't stop. Thomas thought to himself, Ha! Huh, they're waving because I'm such a splendid engine. Huh. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy and he pretended to be like Gordon. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 faster. As he passed the first signal box, he saw the man leaning out, waving and shouting. And he thought to himself, they're pleased with me. They've never seen me pulling a train before. It's nice of them to wave. And he hurried on. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 faster. But he came to a signal at danger. Oh, bother. I must stop. Oh, and I was going so nicely, too. <laughs> what a nuisance signals are. And he blew an angry... <laughs> One of the signalmen ran up. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing here, hmm? Well, I'm pulling a train. Can't you see? Oh. Where are your coaches, then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me if I haven't left them behind. Yes, you'd better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas. He was so sad he nearly cried. But his driver said, Cheer up, let's go back quickly and try again. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fat director, the station master and the guard what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back and they saw how sad he was, they couldn't be cross. So they coupled him to the train and this time he really pulled it. But for a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, 
<laughs> Look, there's Thomas, who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. <laughs>